Hi guys, this is Vishal from Rapport. So in this video, we will understand how to create a simple dashboard screen in Rapport. So a lot of time you are working on a project and you want to build a dashboard, which is a left menu, a top menu and all those things. So let's see how that can be built quickly. Okay. So we have a project, which is a dummy project and it has nothing in it. Okay. So let's say I want to build a nice looking dashboard. Okay. So let's see how that can be built. So trap code uses uh, Twitter board app UI. So if you want to use any ready-made template, any ready-made design, you can just use it as it is. So I'll quickly show you how you can use it. So let's say this is a board step site and it has a lot of components. Let's say you want to uh, build something from this, this you can use. So let, let's take an example of dashboard. So let's say this is a dashboard which they have, right? Now let's say I want to build a dashboard like this. Can I build it? So probably yes. So let me copy it. So I'll just copy the header. Okay. So I will also show you how to build trap code using trap uh, dashboard using trap code component. But this is just to show you that you can also do it by just copying any existing dashboard UI. So this was header, which is fine. Now let's copy the body. So this is the body. Copy the complete HTML component html paste it so you see very simple dashboard is there obviously these all you can replace with your own data your own content and uh, navigation bar you can bring from uh, like snippets so that it can be reusable okay so this is a very simple uh, but yeah let's build it using trap code elements so I just remove everything so let's say i need a sidebar i need a header and footer is optional okay so let's see how that can be done so the very first thing what i'll do i'll divide my page into two sections okay so here we are considering that we will be needing it only for web apps not for mobile app because for mobile it makes sense to have a collapsible sidebar which we'll cover in some other video for now let's say i want to divide this page in uh, section into sidebar and this is a main body of the page okay so let's see how that can be done so i've dropped a two column layout okay so this is my container i'll move container outside of this snippet uh, segment and then i'll just make it as a fluid as of now it is 100 percent uh, like a fixed width but i'll just make it 100 percent width so if you want your uh, dashboard to be center aligned you can just keep the width fixed but let's say if you want it to capture the complete width you can make it a fluid okay so it has two columns now column are basically which uh, slice the pages into horizontal uh, sections right so by default it is taking 12 12 by 2 so basically it divides page 1 by 12 2 by 12 and 6 by 12 so i'll just decrease the size of this column let's say 2 by 12 and this 10 by 12 that's all so now i have a two column layout this i will use for the sidebar and this i will use for the uh, rest of the part okay and probably the header so let's say how we do it so now i want to create a sidebar but since sidebar is going to be used at several places so i will not drop a sidebar here i will go and create a snippet and then we'll drop the snippet here so that if something changes to the sidebar the changes should get reflected everywhere in all the pages so i'll go to my snippet and create a snippet and let's say name it sidebar so what we will do in this sidebar we'll just drop a sidebar component okay so we have sidebar components here this is the sidebar component and we have couple of uh, more sidebar components in a pre-built layout so let's copy it from here so here it is we have couple of more type of sidebar so let's say i need a sidebar like this so i just drag and drop so sidebar is here uh, it is inside some container okay so it is pre-built section with 100 percent okay so i'll just go to the layer manager and just take this box which is the sidebar i'll remove all other layers okay so i'll just remove pre-built layouts and all these things okay so this is my box and then i'll make the width as 100 percent right so width is fixed here this is uh, like we have fixed it so let's see you want to keep it fixed but since we are already limiting the width in the page where we have two columns so i'll just make it as 100 percent here 
and control it from the component in which this is getting dropped okay so i'll just do it like this 100 percent maybe if you want to add more links you can just duplicate contact employees so basically you can create uh, as many as you want okay like this so now let's say the sidebar is there now what i'll do we'll create a similar snippet for a header like a nav bar i'll say nav bar so why we are creating a snippet so that we can reuse this sidebar and nav bar across all the pages right and you can have different sidebar and nav bar on the base of different user role which we have already covered in other video so what I'll do, I'll just drop a navbar component. Same thing, either you can drop this navbar component and we have several other navbar components in the pre-built section also, right? So let's say I need navbar like this. So I'll just drag and drop. I'll not do any changes, so I'll just, let's just keep it as it is. Okay, now let's go back to the page and drop this sidebar and navbar on the page so that we design the page, right? So this is, this was for my sidebar, sidebar this was for my navbar and the rest of the body. So what I'll do, I'll go to the components and drop a snippet, okay. So first snippet in the first column for basically sidebar. So here it is. I won't take my uh, snippet the full width. So I'll just go to the dimension and in the height, I'll just 100%. So basically take the 100% height of the page. Okay, I'll remove some extra margin. There was some extra margin here, so I'll just remove it. So it takes end to end. Okay, this is it. Now let's put the header. I'll go to the components and drop the snippet again. So here this time we'll say navbar. So navbar snippet here. Uh, we have some margin, sorry, padding. So I'll just make it zero zero in the container. So this is my navbar. This is my sidebar. Let's say I want to remove this, right? Because we don't need it and probably move all these options towards the right. So we'll go to the snippets to the navbar. I'll just remove this section. It's not needed. So I'll just probably shift them towards uh, center. So I'll say padding left, let's say 20% or 30%, right? So that it moves bits towards the center. Okay. Or let's say 30%. So now let's go back to the page. So this is now how our page looks like. So if I go in preview, this is how it looks like. So let's say this height is not 100%. So what we'll do, we'll go to the snippet and probably make the height of this sidebar as 100% so that it takes the whole width. So I'll go to the ex extreme box, whatever it is, and say dimension height, let's say 100%, okay, good. Now, if I preview the bit, at, this should take the whole height. So this is our sidebar. This is an app bar. Let's say I want to remove this blue color. So very simple. I'll go to my snippets and remove the class which brings this blue color. So I think this blue color comes from uh, BG primary. So I'll just remove it. Okay, nav bar dark. I'll remove it so that this font turns white. I mean, if you want to add gray color, all these things you can do, right? So this is how basically a basic uh, dashboard is created. Now you can create as many pages as you want. You can create all these different options. You can add all these icons and then you can reuse this page again and again to create any number of page in a full-fledged web application. Hope this is clear now. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.